about nine days ago, September 24th. I was leaving my house in the G35 and somebody pulled out in front of me and I, I couldn't stop. We're gonna try and see if we can get this thing to run. Moment of truth, yeah. What is happening everybody? It is your buddy Aaron here. Welcome back to another G35 video guys. Today, super exciting video for you guys. Guys, I'm so stoked and I'm also like extremely nervous because I've been working so hard with no sleep for like the last three, four days just trying to get this G35 ready to put on our trailer. We got a little U-Haul trailer over here uh, and connect it to the truck. Um, because we're going to be towing our G35 all the way to Tampa from South Florida to meet up with Martin from RS Enthalpy so that we can get the G35 finally tuned. Now, I have been rushing to get it ready, and the car is still kind of not ready. It's, I don't know, it was still sputtering a whole bunch. Like, I would fill up the tank, full tank, it would run great. Once it hits three quarters, it would start sputtering, giving me misfires and whatnot, making me think that it has something to do with the gas. The last three, four days, I've torn apart the fuel pump, replaced the assembly. I put our Wabro fuel pump in a new assembly because in our old one, I tried to clean it, but, uh, yeah, it had all of this gunk in there. I started blowing it out with the compressor and all of that crap came out. So maybe that was causing our misfires and for it to run lean. Um, but now I'm smelling a whole bunch of gas and whenever I accelerate, only when I accelerate, um, it sputters a whole bunch. And I'm thinking maybe it's running rich, but my code reader just took a crap on me so I can't even really tell what the check engine light is right now. I'm just gonna take it over to Tampa. We got VQ Brian out there who is gonna willingly sacrifice his day to, uh, to help us out and figure out what's going on with the G and make sure we get over 300 horsepower today. <laughs> was at this moment that I knew I had messed up the audio for the next two videos. Dude, am I dreaming right now? Oh my god, look at this fucking setup, guys. To think that we actually crashed, totaled a G35, not our fault. Picked up one with a blown motor, completely rebuilt it, slapped it together, and now we are finally ready to get it tuned. Oh, that, dude, you doing alright over there? Oh, yeah, boy. up guys so the audio got totally screwed up in this clip here because of the whole anyway guys I was just explaining here the entire trip in itself so the first thing that we're gonna do is immediately go to Tampa and get our car tuned over by Martin at RS Enthalpy fingers crossed that the G35 runs awesome once we get the car tuned and then after that we're gonna see if we can head over to the compound do our first ever burnout in the G35 and then see if we can go ahead and get it sideways turn it down the volume because of copyright What's good, dude? What's up, dude? Yo, so we got Jesse, we're on our way, we're blocking this whole freaking driveway right now, or this whole entrance to this complex, so. Yeah, that's it, yo, onward. Yo, get off my ass. Dude, what the f Dude, I'm gonna fight this guy, this guy's on my fucking ass right now. Oh, oh no, it's just my car. Don't make some pack. So we just made it over at RS NLP. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and unload the uh, unload the G right now. Stretch out a little bit, and then we're gonna go meet Martin inside. Breaking shit? Yeah. Oh. Say what's good to the vlogs. What's up? Add VQ Brian. Add VQ. Uh, adding you for like the last like <laughs> two months now with this whole build. Just happy we got it here. Yeah, bro. I know. Safe, safe and sound yeah, for now. Safe. All right, so they're setting up the car right now, straight on the dyno. Like the car is running like garbage right now, but 
Let's see if I can pop this on real quick. Do a little, you know, cold air intake job. See if we can get a little more horses out of it. And yes, I finally got a freaking k &M filter, guys. You guys can shut up now. Typically, whenever you see a Dino Jet number, yeah. you can subtract about 7 to 8% off of this one. Oh, wow, okay. 7 8%, okay. Mm -hmm. Trying to hit that 300 mark. Oh, we're not going to hit it on this one. Damn, my whole, my whole dreams are shattered. <laughs> Better go support this man, Rico's Garage. Killing it. They actually have some really great content, so head over there to Rico's Garage and subscribe. So Martin had told us pretty much that that is the lowest reading dyno jet, which reads about 7 to 8% lower than the other dyno jets. And right now we're reading at about 282, um, which already brings us over 300 horsepower, which is uh, super exciting. So we're going to let it cool down, we're going to spray it down, and then uh, run it again. Chemicals in there, you know that's fresh paint, bro.
taking a look here, we got 304 horsepower pretty much after you do the math of the 8% difference between this dyno reading and other dyno jets. But we're at 282 right now on the reading of this dyno jet, which is not too bad. Max torque at 258.79. Look at this dude. I think I'm so funny, bro. Yet, yeah, nope. So Martin just said he's gonna let it cool down for a little bit. We're gonna try and get it up to 285. The flames probably got to here. <laughs> this shit, this shit, this bro, shit was this easily fired out. We should call it the mod. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> so was that is that oh, two yeah. separate yeah. maps? Yeah. Okay. It's more than that's how I had it before. Like you hold down the cancel and you yeah. 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 It more than likely will be a separate. Map. Yeah, no kidding. Otherwise, that'd be one annoying ass mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that lower, that lower See right here? solid one. Okay, so this is what a smooth curve looks like. You see the dark right. blue one? Right. So you're going all the way up, and then this is obviously you see where your horsepower wow. and uh, your horsepower and torque peak. So okay. So you're peaking right here at like five, seven. So right nice. here, you're dropping down. So what he wants to do is smoothen this out so right. it keeps going up. Oh, okay. Obviously, it's not going to go like yeah, retarded yeah, yeah. up. It's but gonna, but gonna, so in top end, you'll sure. feel it smoother all the way out. Not like a right, different instead of there, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you're not going to feel that. That's such a little dip. You're not going to feel it. Yeah, I don't even it, hear it. It, it bugs me. That's, all. that's okay. If that's it bugs you, it bugs me. Comparison. Hell yeah, dude. Dude. 284, 85, 285. Rounded, right? Rounded. Round <laughs> Round 300, right? Yeah. 286, what? It's just because that's what's smoothing the out. Okay, okay. That's all. It just basically fills the peaks and valleys a little bit more. Make a wish. Oh, it's four. Oh, it's, okay, guys. It's 420 on 420. Make a wish. I wish the bitch would hit 287. <laughs> <laughs> 286, some VHR stock will start on this dyno between 280 and 290. Okay. So that just gives you an idea. Alright, stock. It's stock, yeah. Like bolt ons they'll start at like like an 09, 10, 11. Yeah. We'll start with full bolt ons at about 300 to 310. Oh, okay. The amount of people on this dyno on a B that have been over 280 is very small. The amount of people that have been over 285 is infinitesimally small. The amount of people that have been over 290 on this dyno is only two. two people on 290 on this dyno. Yeah. Well, on a D platform. On a DE platform, yeah. And you tune a lot of freaking cars. Yeah, and I mean that's what what I say a lot. I mean we got I do I do a good bit of cars per week, so yeah. So I can tell you that that that's that's a pretty appreciable number for the like they awesome, so usually yeah. like even on ethanol, even on a good amount of work, they'll still end up on this dyno in the somewhere in the two seventy range. So wow. so that that's very good. Yeah. Hey, can you spray it? Yeah. Time, like, pull off one more time and then we'll uh, yeah. Yeah. Wrap up. Nice. He's just detailing it for you. He's That's just all. detailing it for me. Thank you. I know we got to keep it pretty, even on the dyno. Sure <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but this is really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> This is 292. This is one of the only guys that got. Nice. This is a guy up in uh, Jacksonville named Marvin. 264 Arkin. torque. Look, my torque was right there almost. Yeah. Yeah. He had uh, long tubes on his car. Oh, see? Yeah, That's what I'm saying. We do long tubes in the space. You you, Alright, here's the thing, and Marlon will tell you it. Long so tubes only help you out on top end. Okay. Yeah, you will not get from a dig from long That's where you get your top horsepower, though, right? No, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's all, it all depends on your one to one. 253, bitch. Oh, <laughs> 
That's not that bad. <laughs> that's fucking but horrible. That's, the, that, that's what I was saying. This dyno is a bit on the low yeah, side. Yeah, who was 133? Uh, that was just that was uh, a that was a stop drop. Uh, okay. But so like they average like bolt on tune, non rev up. They'll average 250, 260, sometimes up to 270 if you get lucky on ethanol. Wow. Uh, on 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 gas, I'll usually stop at about 260. Wow. Rev oh, ups yeah. will get up to 265 to 270 on gas. 270, 275 on ethanol. You want Damn. <laughs> Damn, bro, I'm so ready to rip this shit, dude. It's been. Look up on Google Maps, there's a place called. Oh my god. Bro, dude, send it to me. Look at me. <laughs> dude, send that, that to me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am super stoked. I'm so happy. I, I'm like shaking right now in, in how much excitement I have right now. I want to give a huge shout out. Make sure you guys follow everybody who was shout out in this video. They've been a huge help when it comes to the build and the community in itself. BQ Ryan with the Porta Manifolds and Martin with the tuning. Insane. I love it. This car was running like shit before we came in here and now it's, it's, it's a dream. It really is. If you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you guys are new to this channel, I went crazy on building the Z35 and I'm going to keep on going crazy on building it. So make sure you guys subscribe and follow along uh, for the progress on the G. We're going to have a bunch of fun in the next video. So make sure you guys follow along. We're going to take this bitch sideways. That's about it guys. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's been a long time coming for us to get this G35 finally tuned and you guys were super excited to see the numbers. I'm glad to finally be able to bring this video to you guys and show you guys the numbers that full bolt-ons with E85 and everything can make on your G35. I got the whole entire mod list is down there in the description. And if you guys really like your G35 and you want some merch for it, head over to AASupply.com. We got some dope G35 hoodies with some AA Supply t-shirts and uh, some nice little uh, jet tags, which are my favorite. Going a little keychain and uh, some air fresheners. Let me know if you guys have any ideas is actually for some merch uh, let me know down in the comments let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this tune and what you guys have on your g35s and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video